Hi everybody, welcome to Go Big Bore or Go Home, where recoil is required. Why? Because we are the house of the rising gun. I was recently over watching a premiere on another YouTuber's channel, a Hootie Who. If you haven't heard of him, please go check out his channel. I'll leave a link below. Great stuff, really good content. And he was having a premiere for a comparison with clay blocks. He takes two 10-pound blocks of clay, and then he shoots a caliber through it, and then he does a comparison caliber. And this one definitely drew my attention because it was 45 Colt versus 454 Casol. So, while I was in the, the chat watching, there was a gentleman there by the name of Billy who said, you know, I'd really love to see 50 Action Express versus the 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. And I said, well, Billy, hold my beer. And he was like, yeah, very funny. I said, no, 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 I mean it. Let's do it. So that's what we're doing today. And while I was there, someone else said, you know, I'd love to see the 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum shot through clay. Why not? So here's what we're doing today. We're starting out with a five and a half inch barreled BFR from Magnum Research, chambered in 50 Action Express. And it's gonna be shooting a Hornady loaded 300 grain FTX mag hollow points at 1,475 feet per second. Next, we have a Magnum Research BFR with a 10 and a half inch barrel shooting 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. And it's gonna be shooting hand loaded 300 grain FTX bullets that I chronographed at 2,187 feet per second. So these things are smoking. And last but not least, a Smith & Wesson Performance Center 460 XVR with a 7.5 inch barrel. Hornady loaded 200 grain FTX bullets going 2200 feet per second according to Hornady. I chronographed those as well, 2212 feet per second was my average, so Hornady's right on the nose, great job on their part. So I can't wait to get to the clay and see how this goes. Will probably be a one-off honestly because I don't want to steal Hootie Who's thunder and I got to be honest respect to Hootie Who on this because holy heck that clay's hard to work with man much respect so here's our two 10 pound blocks of clay uh, we got one two you know, I kind of wish I had been able to see a picture of the clay when I ordered this online because, uh, dead serious, guys, it certainly looks like I made this out of cow patties. But uh, first up is the 50 Action Express, so I'm going to go grab that and let's do some shooting. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, that'll be fun to see. So, we got a big chunk under the table. And we've got some little chunks here. Little chunk there. Um, I had to reshoot this because I didn't turn on the mic. Sorry, guys. I think this might be a piece of the bullet. Yep. It's a little bullet fragment. And it just, like, smashed both blocks kind of into one. There's little bits of bullet fragment in there, and you can kind of see almost like a spiral. It's pretty cool. All right, well that's the 50 Action Express, guys. Next up is the 500 Mag. 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum. 300 grain FTX at 2187. I hope I don't miss, because these things kick like a mother. I won't have to do this more than once. Ah. I got clay on my sunglasses and it hit me in the mouth. <laughs> oh, it's all over my jeans and everything. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see that in the slow-mo. So coming up on the carnage here, got all this on the ground. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I think that was a direct hit. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's got a, like, it's like, it broke the table and it worked into the groove. <laughs> oh man. Uh, there is some clay under the table. <laughs> and, oh, hey, check this out. 
Ah, ah there's what's left of the bullet. Hey, we actually got part of it in the clay over here. Oh man, that was, <laughs> that was epic. Look at that. It's just, it's just a spot. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. All right, I'm gonna try and clean this up a bit and prepare for the 460. 460 XVR, 460 Smith & Wesson Magnum. Let's see what it does. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that stung like hell too. Woo! Look at oh, <laughs> oh, revenge, uh, revenge of the clay, huh? We better go check this out. This ought to be pretty cool. <laughs> oh, There's some right in there on the lens. <sighs> I'm gonna have to clean off the lens. <laughs> so, walking up. There's some clay here on the ground here, some there, some under the table, and here is the main carnage. So let's kind of walk around. We got some clay over here, some clay in the back here, and what I find really interesting, I don't know if you guys noticed, um, with the 50 Action Express, the bullet actually seems to have gone through both blocks. There was like an actual hole towards the back. But with the 300 grain FTX and the 500 Smith, it, it got stopped. It like dispersed all its energy in the first block. And then the bullet kind of disintegrated. There was a little bit left of it. And again here, if we look in, there it is. There's the 200 grain FTX. Oh, completely coming apart. There it is. Come on, there you go. So there's what's left of it. And there's shards of it everywhere, but yeah, so the the FTX bullets at really high velocity seem to just dump their energy into the clay and disperse and disintegrate. Whereas um, I actually think the 300 grain uh, 58E bullet partially disintegrated because I did find chunks of it. Like I found like a, like a lead core like this on there. Uh, it was actually stuck in the table. But yeah, the high velocities with these with these uh, 500 Smith & Wesson Magnums, I mean, does a lot of damage. I mean, like, the first block's just gone. But, as you guys can kind of see, it dumps all that energy and it destroys all that clay, and then it stops and ends up just kind of disintegrating. Interesting. So there you have it guys, some pretty fascinating results. Really interesting to see what those three different rounds did to the clay. And I really hope that Billy is happy with the video as well. I told you I'd do it, I delivered. We're gonna do a part two on this because I finally got my hands on some watermelons and I really wanna see what these same rounds do to watermelon. And remember guys, you know, if, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a like and subscribe. It really helps us out and helps the channel grow. If you want to share it, if you thought this was cool, appreciate that too. Shout out to Hootie Who as well. You know, very much enjoy your channel. Please go check him out guys. Give him some love. It's a great, really great channel. Uh, I also want to say, you know, if you got this far in the video and you didn't like it, thank you for giving us an opportunity. We really appreciate it. If you like the teas, remember you can pick one up below. There are the links. Uh, Five dollars for every shirt goes to help end human trafficking and uh, also helps show our support for Gina Carano if you're a fan like I am. So remember guys, this is the way. Go Big Boar or go home.